I'm Justin Cohen, welcome to Gurus. We've all been taught that you have to set goals, but could it be that goals are the very thing holding you back? After 17 years as a failing businessman, Derek Mills had a revolutionary insight that enabled him to turn his life around. He soon made his first million pounds and became a best-selling author and business guru to some of the world's leading organizations. His key insights, goals aren't the way to achieve goals. Something else is. For the last hundred years, we've been taught that if we set goals, we'll be successful. The challenge is, it hasn't worked. It's failed most people, and it's failed most businesses. And the reason that it's failed is that there's something missing. There's been a critical missing ingredient that has been unobserved, missed, a critical missing link for the last hundred years. My name is Derek Mills, and I had an experience which lasted for 17 years. And that experience was that I've been setting goals, because I was told by the experts to set goals, be happy and successful, set goals, Derek. Yet, I worked in a wealth management business, financial services, insurance, pensions, and savings. But after 17 years, I was broke and depressed. Broke because I was not very good, and I couldn't, even with all the goals, I'd read the books, in case you're wondering, listen to the tapes, tapes showing my age there, <laughs> listen to the CDs, uh, read the books, but still hadn't got my goals achieved. I realized after about 17 years that, that something, had, something was different here. One night, I was sitting in my office, and it was about 10 o'clock in the evening, and the office security guard came in. Up to that point, I'd been working six, seven days a week, seeing, not seeing my wife and my children come, working all the hours, evenings and weekends, really suffering. And I got to a place where I didn't feel happy in my life, never mind in my business. And he asked me a question. The security, security guard asked me one question. The question was, what time do you get in this morning? And that one question, what time did I get in this morning, caused me to go, hold on a second, I was up for six, on the road at seven, in the office for eight, it's now almost 10 in the evening, it'll be 11 before I get home. This has been my life for weeks, months, no, no, for years. Try 17 years, and that was my story. But as he walked away, my words hung in the air, I realized that this was not my life, this was not where I was meant to be, and there was far more to me, far more to me inside of me that had never come out into my life. But here's where it really came out. Something inside me said, stop setting more goals. Goals won't give you future happiness, because happiness can't exist in the future. It's a present time experience. Instead, live by daily standards set from within so that you and your life and your business is authentic and you're happy in the now. Wow, that was a revelation to me. That was my 10 second moment. And because until that point, like most other people, I'd been setting goals and missing them most of the time. That's the same all around the world. And I found and discovered that this critical missing link changed everything for me. Because I've been letting clients tell me when, when I could see them, what time, the minimum premium, the minimum order, treat me how they want to treat me, abuse my trust and my services. Then I realized this one critical thing, and it was setting standards from within and committing to them just for that day. So I began to set these standards and I wrote them all out because I'm like that. I wrote out all my new daily standards. And a standard is a basis, a criterion, a level, a quality or a rule that you set from inside your business, for every part of your business that's important to you. The financials, the relationships, the, cri the criteria of the client, who can qualify to be a client. You're not a shop open to everyone, you're a business. And also to make sure you take care of your personal self. Because most people are actually, I think they're business people, but you're not business people. You're people in business. So you need the standards that can support your business as well as supporting you personally, and that's what I did. And that's made the difference. Three years after that point, I'm in the same company as a self-employed commission-only agent with the same products in this very same office, and I made my first million three years later, working less than half the time that I used to. The following year, I made half a million dollars, so I made a million dollars in just that year. That's not to impress, that's just to tell you, I'm a genius. <laughs> I don't know what I mean, but I am a genius. But I was a genius all those 17 years along. But the goals never got the genius out into my life. The daily standards got my gifts out into my life. And that changed everything. Because when you change you, everything changes for you. If you can imagine a stairway, and the top of the stairway is your goal, 
Think about your daily standards, the basis, criterion, level, qualities, and rule that you live by one day at a time, daily standards. They are the means to achieving your goal. You see, goals don't achieve goals. They never have. It's your daily standards that determine your failure or your success. Derek Mills, welcome to Gurus. Thank you. Thank you. We've got a heretic on the show. <laughs> Goals are pretty much the uh, staple of the personal and business development field, right? Yeah, yeah. You don't have goals? I don't, I don't set goals because I've gone through the journey of having goals and then having daily standards to achieve them. But when you get to a certain place, you realize I don't need those goals hmm. because goals are limiting me. Because when we set goals, we find that often we are limited because we set goals from who we are and who the world thinks we should be. But the reality of it is there's far more to each of us than we think when we set our goals. People will treat us, both in relationships and in life, based on where we set the standards. So you might have all the goals you want in the world. Mm -hmm. If you have the wrong standards, you're never going to achieve those goals. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'll go as far as to say that if you have goals and you haven't got the right daily standards, you're just a dreamer. Because mm. it's the standards that achieve the goals, mm. not the goals. I, I, the penny is finally dropping for me here, yeah. and, I, and I, I see this, that if you have a standard, a high standard of quality, of mm. customer service, mm. of your own ethical, your own ethics, mm. you are going to attract people to do business with you, and any great goals that you may have for mm. yourself are far more likely to materialize. Of course. And you've got to, you, you believe that part of the 2008 meltdown was in fact produced by gold fixation. It absolutely was. So, yeah. so it was like yeah. sh sh short-term shareholder goals. Yeah. So you've got these guys and girls in the city saying our targets and our bonus is based upon this. So, but nobody said to them, but you must have these standards of care for the right. institution, for your clients, use this quality, put these rules in place. This is the basis of how we work. This is the truth we operate from. Those standards did not exist. Mm. In fact, the organizations were not even conscious of their daily standards right. because they weren't, they, were, they weren't aware of them. So yeah. the minute they became conscious, it was actually too late because they all, almost broke the system. Right. And I'm sure you've, you've come across the, um, the, the deaths in the NHS. In, in the UK, where the reports show that some 30,000 unnecessary deaths in the UK. So let me tell you why. That's because they shifted this model where it became targets and goals and ticking boxes. And from that point onwards, the how the standards were for, completely forgotten. Mm -hmm. So people died because they were getting the goals achieved, but the standard of care was completely mm -hmm. missed. 30,000 unnecessary deaths. If we get the goal thing wrong and we forget the missing link, people die. Financial systems collapse. If you fixate on the target mm -hmm. and you tell your people it's all about achieving this goal, that means that you could well compromise your ethical standards to achieve the goal. Can I just correct you there? It's not a could well. Hmm. It's you probably will. Hmm. Because when you look at the, uh, the Harvard Review, uh, the Harvard Business Review 2009, they wrote a paper called Goals Gone Wild, and it's the only Harvard paper, Harvard Business Review that I know where they put a warning on the back of the document to say, Goals can damage your organization. Wow. What if we lived in a world where certain organizations or certain sections of, of the business community didn't have goals? Because it was accepted that if they have goals, you're probably going to drive the wrong behavior. Mm -hmm. Now, until you can incorporate into your business the right standards, the basis, the criterion, the levels, the qualities, the rules, that will ensure that you honor and serve other people. Because mm -hmm. you know how we succeed in business? Mm -hmm. It's we, we live a business that honors and serves others. And to the degree that we can honor and serve others, we get a great business. But if we forget to honor and serve, we, we, don't, we don't get a great business. And I don't care what it's 30 years later. Mm. Volkswagen mm. ended up paying 4.6 billion because they got it wrong. Right. How long were they hiding for? We don't know. Right. But it cost them 4.6 billion. You can't hide from those standards. They'll come out in the wash. What did Einstein say? Don't try and be a person of success. Success is the goal. Be a person of value. Indeed. Produce value, yeah, yeah. success will follow. Yeah. Now, Definitely. we're talking about this on a business level, and I'm having written a book on goals. I've been fascinated to see a raft of research coming out to show mm. that 
on a personal level, the focusing on the goal can really backfire. So for instance, if, and we've all told to have vision boards and visualize yeah. the outcome and get obsessed with it and look at the right. secrets. And yeah, yeah. so research shows that if you visualize yourself getting a job and you fixate on that outcome, mm -hmm. you're actually less likely to get a job. Yeah. Why? Because the brain doesn't distinguish well between fantasy and reality. If you actually visualize what you do on a daily basis, which in effect is your standard, mm -hmm. how you behave on a daily basis, yeah. which is doing all the things required to get a job. So mm -hmm. in other words, focus on process, not outcome. Outcome, yep. you're mm -hmm. actually far more likely to get the outcome. Yeah. And mm -hmm. as you know, how, how many s successful people do you know who've actually achieved the goals but aren't happy? Well, that's, you know what, that is the key point because how many people do you know that set goals to be unhappy? <laughs> yep, so everyone sets goals to be happy. So they set a goal with an attachment to that goal. Well, happiness is a present time experience, isn't it? We can't be mm -hmm. happy in the future, we're only happy in the now. It's a now experience. So daily standards, when we look at daily standards, we experience and we live them just for today, so mm -hmm. we stay present. Mm -hmm. So we can have all the success, but we stay happy in the moment. Mm -hmm. It's not about the achievement of the goal. Yeah. The goal had an attachment. It's about the happiness and the contentment that we can see. So I, I work with uh, leaders and sales organizations to get their salespeople, sometimes you know, hard-nosed guys in the city, hitting their targets, but actually being happy because they're serving their clients they're honoring their companies, mm. they're honoring and serving themselves, they're seeing their husbands and wives, mm. they're eating well. That's how it should be, shouldn't it? Derek, I love that, because at the end of the day, that's why we're here, right? Yeah, yeah. We're trying to raise the well-being of ourselves, our teams, yeah. our customers, mm -hmm. and that fixation on the goal means, yes, that we're sacrificing yeah. present day. We, we could be sacrificing yeah. the, 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 the present day. I've got one uh, client I work with in, uh, in London, I've got an office in New York, uh, 20, um, they're called, and they used to do all the KPI stuff, and when he read the book, when he read the 10 second philosophy, he came back to me and said, Derek, we've now got guys together, we give them their targets, but they're all different people, aren't they? I said, yeah, they're all different people, even in the same team with the same targets. So what we began to do was to drive, get them to commit to, well, how many calls could you be making? What's your minimum standard of calls? Now let's look at your script and look at the quality of your script, all these standards. And what they realized was by driving the the, the activity, not the fee income, i.e. you must earn 100,000 100, mm -hmm. pounds this, this month. If you've got to earn 100,000 pounds this month, you may do it in a certain way which doesn't serve you or your customers. If you say, let's drive the activity, the quality of the script, uh. the care, and they, put, they say, set aside the KPI for a second, and I really admire them because they just said, we're using daily standards, mm -hmm. and phenomenal. It wasn't wow. tied to me, but they did go and open an office in New York not, much, not long afterwards. Well, that's what's in store for us. If Absolutely. we follow Derek Bulls and raise our standards. Absolutely. Thank you Daily so standards. much. <laughs> God bless you.